下。
this is, this is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your father did in manna, and they are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So far, please. Christian without life. 
you can never be found of diabetes or hypertension, high blood, I don't know, a HIV, arthritis, all kind of sicknesses. It can stay in your body when you take the blood of Jesus. Praise God forever. take his blood, his blood, you will have life in you. If you take his flesh, you will have life in you. 2023 is coming. Any sickness in your body, whatever is not good that is in your body, you can stop it. Take only communion always in your home. If you don't know how you can prepare it, Buy the juice. Buy normal bread you buy in the bakery. You can call Papa. You can call me. We will pray on it for you. You keep it in your fridge. Every day, you take it little bits. You put it in your, in the, in the little thing. You know, you drink it. You take the, the bread, you eat it, then you go anyway. As you begin to do that, you will go to the doctor. Don't you say there is no sickness in your body. Listen, the blood of Jesus, when you have life, sickness can stay in your body. Hallelujah. He said that Jesus said unto them, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoso eateth by flesh, we are talking of the flesh of Jesus Christ. Anyone who eats the flesh of Jesus, many people they wait for every first Sunday. Every Sunday, the Sunday that we take it. You know, last week was the first Sunday, we didn't take it. Our last, last two weeks or something. But we must put it on today as our Thanksgiving to do it together. Praise God. There is a reason for that. Praise God forever. People wait until we take it in the church. Don't wait until we take it in the church. Take the Holy Communion in your home every day. Take the blood of Jesus in your home every day. Every day. If you can't take it in the morning before you go home, go out. When you come in the evening, take the blood of Jesus. Take it to go asleep. Take it every day. Every sickness will leave your body. Praise God. You will be very healthy and strong. Satan can't fight anybody that is always taking the blood of Jesus. When Satan comes, he will see that the blood of Jesus is alive in you. He will run. I'm telling you. I'm in the altar of God. I'm not telling you what I don't know. I am telling you what is available. This is what is available. When you do this always with your family, your life will be fresh. Sickness cannot stay in your body. Sickness cannot stay in the body of your children. Sickness cannot stay in your home because there is no place for sickness there. Praise God. He said, Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Praise God forever. This last day we are talking about, listen. The last day, number one. Another last day we are talking about here. Every day of your life, Jesus will be raising you up. Jesus will be raising you up. Where you are supposed to be down, he will raise you up. You know? When sickness is coming, or sickness is in your body, as you take the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus will make the sickness away. When you go to a doctor, the doctor will say, ah, there was, there was a, last week you come for a control. I saw a sickness. But now the sickness is no more there. That is the work of the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Satan can fight the truth. He can fight the truth. No matter what, how he do his best to do it, he can't. He said, for my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood, dwelleth in me, and I in him. 57. As the living Father hath sent me, so I live by the Father. So that, so, he that eateth me, he that eateth me, if you eat the flesh of Jesus, even he shall live again. You will live again. On a daily life, you will live. Verse 58 in that verse. He said, This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat, manna, and are dead. He that eateth of this bread 
shall live forever. Shall live forever. Do you want your 2023 to be glorious? Many people spend money on medication. It baffles me. Go to doctor. Doctor will prescribe. You see some people hopes. Every time they buy medication, listen, you can buy medication, you cannot buy hands. You can buy medication, you cannot buy hands. Only Jesus can give you good hands. The blood of Jesus is what can give you good hands. If you like, go and spend all your salary in medication. After all the medication, you can still die. Medication is good. If I have headache, I take medication. Medication is good. It's very good. We thank God for medication. I take medication. If I have headache, if I have a uh, <coughs> uh, who's thing, cough, I take syrup, I go to apotheca, I buy syrup. There is no problem with medication. No, no problem. If you are sick, you go to doctor. Let doctor give you medication. It's good. No problem at all. No problem. It's good to take medication. But as you take medication, also take the blood of Jesus. Don't depend only on medication. Also take it as you take medication. You also take the blood of Jesus. So that the blood of Jesus will make away all the sickness and everything. So you don't spend too much money or too much life. I have seen some people, more than 90 something. By God's grace, my mother is 97. She's never sick. As I talk to you, she's in church. She got to church Wednesday. She got to church Friday. She got to church Sundays. As I'm talking, she's in the church, the house of her father. God Almighty. I'm talking of my mother. She's 97. Always in church. When they have program. She almost always the first person to be in church. Last week was their Thanksgiving. She was the first person. She's old, but she find her way always to the church. She's 90 something. You can find the sickness in her. She take the blood of Jesus always. Go to church always. She live a life for God. She's very busy. Very busy, but still. Always in church. The blood of Jesus will make you strong. Sometimes some people will come and say, Oh, your mother, she's very strong. It's, it's, it's like, I say, Yes, that is God in action. Some people call me. We are the ones who try to stop her from many things. Don't, do, don't go there. Don't do that. Don't do that. She can do all things. Praise God forever. Very strong. Why? Because the blood of Jesus will make you strong. You see some people. They are just 70 years. They look very old. What is that? When you have the blood of Jesus, you will be one right here. You will be very strong. You do everything for yourself. Everything for yourself. Praise God forever. You will do everything for yourself. Because you are strong. This is what the Bible says. It says when you take the blood of Jesus, when you take the flesh of Jesus, it says it will dwell in you. Imagine if Christ is dwelling in you. Your life will not be the same again. People will be wondering. Look at the life of a lot of people, you know? How can you be 60? How can you be 70? How can you be 80? You are already looking very old. People are not taking your hands to walk. May God have mercy. You know what Jesus said? He said 70 years, 80 years, 90 years, and now both you will live very strong. Do you know how many years Abraham lived? He was very strong. Do you know how many years those men of God in the Bible they live? More than 100 years. They were very strong as they go for battles. But what is happening today? People are just 50 years. People are just 60 years, they look old. 70 years, they look old. They can't dress again. They can't look good again. Hallelujah. They cannot, they can't even, they can't even take care of themselves again. Why? Because the blood of 
Jesus is not available in your system. I will advise you strongly from now on. Not only take it in the church, take it also in your home. And see how your life will be. Your life will not be the same again. Now let's go very quickly. The second part we are going to take before we take the Holy Communion. 1 Corinthians 11. 1 Corinthians 11. 1 Corinthians 11. 23 to 27. That's the last uh, uh, scripture we will take right now so we can take the Holy Communion. 1 Corinthians 11. For I have received of the Lord that which I have delivered unto you, that Lord Jesus Christ said night which he was betrayed, took bread, 24, and he had given thanks. He break it and he said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me, 25. After the, man, after the same manner, also he took the cup, and he sought, saying, This cup, is the New Testament in my blood. This do, ye, as often ye drink, it is in remembrance of me. 26. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the love that the cup. 27. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord, or woefully, he shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mr. Bob. Slava Bogu. The Yasobria of Pana Pocha Samba by Odos. Je Pan Ježiš tu noc, keď a keď dáva ďaký láma ho a povedal. Toto je moje telo, ktoré je pre vás. Toto robte na moju pamiatku. Podobne po večeri vzal aj kalík a povedal, tento kalík je moja, je nová zmluva moje krvi. Toto robte, kedykoľvek ho budete piť na moju pamiatku. Kedykoľvek teda jete tento chlieb a pijete z tohto kalíka, zvestujete pánovu smrť, kým nepríde. Preto ktokoľvek by nevhodne jedol chlieb alebo pil kalík pána, pre, premení sa proti telu a krvi pána. Amen. Amen. Fresh, please. 1 Corinthians 11, 11, 23, 23. Car j'ai reçu du Seigneur ce que je vous ai enseigné, ce que le Seigneur Jésus, dans la nuit où il fut livré, prit du pain et après avoir rendu grâce, le remplit et dit Ceci est mon corps qui est rempli pour vous, faites ceci en mémoire pour moi. De même, après avoir soupé, il prit la coupe et dit Cette coupe est la coupe. Et la nouvelle alliance est mon sang. Faites ici en mémoire de moi toutes les fois que vous en boirez. Car toutes les fois que vous mangerez ce pain et que vous buvez, et que vous buvez cette coupe, vous annoncez la mort du Seigneur jusqu'à ce qu'il vienne. C'est pourquoi celui qui mangera le pain ou boira la coupe du Seigneur indignement sera coupable envers le corps et le sang du Seigneur. Que chacun donc s'éprouve soi-même et qu'ainsi il mange du pain et boive de la coupe. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. First Corinthians 11, 23 to 27. For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you today. That Lord Jesus, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he saw, in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also he took the cup when he had when he had sought, saying, This cup is the new testament in my blood. This do as often. You see what I'm telling you? This do as often, so do it always. Not only in the church, you can do it always in your home. Do it always, as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. 26. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show 